robberies in just two months. That happened in Chaparral this spring. Residents questioned the quality of their law enforcement. And now ABC 7's Ashley Rodriguez tells us some residents are taking matters into their own hands. It's a story you'll see only on ABC 7. Stand up. Christopher? Yeah. We got a warrant for your arrest, bud. Uh huh? For for your rest. The Otero County Sheriff's Department has 44 deputies who have to patrol an area as big as 6,600 miles. Sheriff, Wait, Sheriff, Sheriff. My, kids. my kids are right behind you. And your kids are right here. Your mom can watch your kids without no problem. Yeah, I need to call my wife. That includes Chaparral. During the spree of robberies this spring, Doña Ana had one to two deputies patrolling its portion of Chaparral. Home to about 10,000 residents. On Otero's side, nine deputies tried to protect the other 10,000. But for one resident, there's nowhere near enough deputies to keep him and his family safe. I myself had to start a crime watch unit in my area to, for our protection for our residents. This man, who is protecting his identity, sure. says he has 11 men who take turns and work shifts, watching each other's back. Is, is it legal to do that? Uh, it's not legal. We have, we'd had uh, meetings with uh, a couple of big shots from, um, from Doniana, and it seemed that um, they weren't really paying attention to what we were saying. Patrolling Chaparral is no easy task. Between Dona Ana and Otero County, the area they have to cover is a challenge in itself because, you know, you've got two counties with one road separating them and then you have two states with the road separating. So he's, he's struggling. I reached out to Donia Anna Sheriff Todd Garrison for comment but did not hear back. Soon though the newly elected Enrique Kike Vigil will take the reins and the problems of having less than 40 deputies to cover all of Donia Anna County. The residents are taking the law little by little under their hands and it's starting to become a uh, Western. Their people are locking and loading to protect their property and their family. Reporting from our New Mexico mobile newsroom, Ashley Rodriguez, ABC 7.